guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. You can see it's the eighth round, and the suspect is just kind of sitting here AFK. Maybe this is a griefing call. No, he seems to be back. I imagine that it probably isn't, not just for that short period of time. He's going to be making his way over here towards the middle. One guy underneath window, but his teammate is in window watching that angle. Either way, the suspect's going to jump out. Looks like he's either trying to make a distraction or just die, and he goes down. Not really sure what he was trying to do there. Maybe he was just trying to play like some kind of one of those circus games. Like, you know, those ones where the guys just kind of pop out and you try to shoot them as quickly as possible. Because he kept just jumping out and they just kept taking shots at him. Either way... Making his way over here towards middle doesn't spot anyone out, but there is one in T spawn that might be making his way over here sh soon with the bomb. Uh, he drops the bomb, making his way towards mid. Suspect keeps peeking it. He hasn't spotted anyone out yet. Looks like A site has been taken. He's going to rotate over and take one out. One up close here in mid. He takes him out as well, and it looks like Emu is able to take down Bulldog. A little bit aware on that guy in mid, though he may have heard him. One guy top middle, he was aimed right above his head. And when the guy peeked up, he should have been able to connect with that shot, but he did miss it. And it looks like the terrorist is going to fall back now and see if he can reposition himself, get that bomb, and try to take the A site. Suspect, however, is pushing up here, and you'd think that if he was walling, he'd know that the last terrorist was making his way over here towards the A site. So right now, I'm not entirely sold on him uh, cheating, even though the shot in middle was a little bit suspicious when the guy came from underneath uh, underpass. Looks like he's rotating his way over here towards the A site, and the final terrorist, Manatee, is creeping his way across. I don't know why he decided to go so deep. He wanted to get behind that try box for some reason. He could have just planted it in the standard position. Looks like him and his teammate are negotiating who wants to get that AWP, and it looks like he ended up winning that negotiation and picks it up. Making his way over here towards A ramp, spotting it out, doesn't see anyone. One guy is in Palace, but he's not going to worry about that for right now. Making his way over here towards Lower. His teammate spotted this guy out, he threw a nade, and he finishes off Hughes. Checking towards Upper Mid, doesn't spot anyone out, but the last guy is over there in Palace. I don't think he knows he's there. Checks Top Mid, doesn't spot anyone out. Bomb is down in underpass, but I don't think they know it's there. It's not within visible range, so unless they killed someone and he dropped it, they shouldn't know. Trying to push aggressive here and secure everything. Probably going to check towards T-spawn, see if he's there. Timing is good, though, because he's making his way across here. Hasn't spotted anyone out. I think he'll be able to sneak up on the guy in Palace. Palace is slowly working his way, but... Honestly, he just ran into a brick wall with three guys watching him. So he falls back, and the suspect sets up a position but isn't able to hit the shot. Now, he knew there was a guy in there, and I'm sure he heard the footsteps, even though I'm talking constantly. Um, I'm sure you guys probably heard it, too. Nothing too suspicious about that to me. Making his way up catwalk, one guy is in top mid, and there's a big smoke there. He can't see anyone through it. Takes a shot at the smoke, hopes for the best, doesn't quite connect. Repeaking this little corner right here, a lot of terrorists like to push up into it. One guy making his way up towards connector, he does spot him out, takes a shot, not able to connect again, and it looks like his teammate is. One more guy top mid, almost catches him off guard, He's gonna flash and repeak. Guys behind the box. Taking shots at the boxes right there. He actually gets tagged down to 58. He is struggling with this guy. Guy's on the left side. One guy making his way over towards B. His crosshair positioning is a little bit strange. It's almost like he's looking at walls a little bit. But that being said, he could just be turning around trying to see if he could hear audio cues. He noticed that his teammate's dead. Uh, well, his teammates are all alive. But in that case, you know... Maybe his teammate called it. Either way, one guy over here pushing his way through halls up close to the window. Seems to be aiming straight at him. Jumping up for the kill. And it looks like Zebra is going to take or get taken down by Emu. I mean, he is suspicious. He is looking at walls quite a bit. And the walls are lining up very, very well with the terrorists. It'll take down Vulture right there. 
gonna throw a crappy nade. Push up, one more guy pushing up towards him. He is able to leg him. Peek out with that USP, finish him off. One guy pushing up Palace, he knows he's there. Ostrich is gonna get the kill anyways. Gonna be pushing his way up here. And it looks like Ostrich is gonna finish off the final kill. Now the way I think that it's going is that the CTs have a few guys possibly walling. Uh, and the terrorists are struggling going up against that. But I think that maybe one of the terrorists might be walling as well because of some of the shots that he hit onto the suspect. Either way, suspect's gonna be making his way over here towards mid. One crosses, he's not quite able to tag him. Gonna go for the repeat. Does spot people out. Holding the angle now. Bulldogs over to the left side. The way that he's peeking it makes me feel like he knew where that guy's positioning was. Even when that nade came out, he had to fall off of it, giving that guy the positioning. And re-peeking that could have been suicide had the guy taken position. So we'll take down Manatee. He's going to throw a flashbang up mid. One more guy top left here. He's going to be peeking up on him. Let's see how he peeks this. He's looking over towards the wall. He knows the guy's there now for sure because of the flash. Takes the shot but is blind. Not quite able to connect on it. Spots out Goose, flicks over to him, and is able to take him down finally. As it's going to leave one terrorist left, he's over there at the A site with a scout and a dream. Bomb is down over here. Somehow this final terrorist has got to find a way to not only get a pick, but get to the bomb. He doesn't do it. A Vortex is able to take him down, and another round for the CTs. Now, like I said, there's... A possibility that people on the CT team are walling, um, and same with one of the terrorists, seems a little bit shady. So I can understand why the suspect got reported here. He has been doing some stuff that's a little bit weird with crosshair placement and where he's looking at. But honestly, it has to be evident beyond reasonable doubt. I have to be absolutely certain this guy is cheating. Um, and right now, it's just, it, it's not, not at that level. Like his teammate's gonna take out one on catwalk. Another guy pushing up here towards connector. He heard the shots. He peeks out, able to get the kill. One more guy top mid. He goes for the flick shot. Not quite able to connect, but it was close. He's gonna be making his way over to the right side, and the terrorist peeks out on him and takes him down. Last round of the first half, 12 to 2. I really think the terrorists are kind of screwed this game. I can't imagine they're gonna be able to come back in the second half. Not unless someone goes full rage bot. Suspect's gone aggressive in middle. He's worried there might be a guy behind the mid box, but doesn't seem to be. I mean, pushing up. Checks over to the left. He does stop right as he hears the, the footsteps. So maybe it was reaction time that he stopped based on sound cue or maybe something else. But again, we have to be it has to be evident beyond reasonable doubt. Let's go through this. Uh, griefing, well, we can go with insufficient evidence here. He wasn't really griefing his teammates. He was AFK for a short period of time, but definitely not long enough that I consider that griefing. Then again, we came in while he was AFK, so maybe he was AFK several rounds before that. That is a possibility, and maybe that's what he was reported for. There's a possibility there, but from what we saw, it wasn't evident beyond reasonable doubt that he was griefing. Major disruption, other external assistance, that would be speed hacks, automated jumping strips, and upside down views. No, we didn't see any of that. Uh, as far as that's concerned, insufficient evidence. Moving our way up to vision assistance, there were shady moments, places where he would look at walls, that just didn't make any sense for no real reason. Like I said, if his teammate had gone down over at the B side, I could understand him looking over to the left to see if he heard any sound cues coming from the right or left. That way you can more easily position the person if he's in the hall. Uh, but his teammate was still alive. His teammate hadn't spotted anyone out. It was really shady. But honestly, even though there was like two or three shady moments like that where he would look at people through walls, it seemed, or look at walls where people were, even though he shouldn't have known they were there, or the timing of things was good. It just wasn't enough for me to say that it's evident beyond reasonable doubt. So I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence on this one. Moving our way up to aim assistance, that was definitely his natural aiming ability. It didn't look like any kind of aim toggle to me. He had pretty solid aim in all honesty, but it wasn't anything superhuman. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And as always, have a great day.